Today we're gonna do a very simple little clay project. This is an air dry clay made by Crayola and it's white. Don't get the red, it's a mess. So I'm just gonna take the top off. And for this project, I'm just gonna need enough just to fit in my hands. I have bigger hands than you do. I got my dad's hands, I got big hands. So I'm gonna have a little bit more clay than he will. So what I wanna do first is I want to make a nice round shape. So as round as you can. Your hands make really great sculpting tools. This is a kind of clay that you don't have to fire. It just dries in the open air and after a couple of days you can paint it. You can make whatever you want with this kind of clay as long as it's not something really delicate. Really tiny little delicate things don't hold up very well with air dry clay. So I've got a little bit of water here. You don't want to make a mud pie out of this clay. If you add too much water, you're going to have a mess on your hands. But you can dip your finger and you can smooth out areas that are rough. So once I have a round shape and it's pretty smooth, pretty happy with it. This is about the size of an orange. Then what I'm going to do, you're going to have to have some strength here. So that's why being an artist is not for the weak. So you're going to have to kind of get on top of it a little bit and push in with your thumbs, but you don't want to go all the way through. Okay. 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 So you don't want to go all the way through. Now I'm going to just keep my thumbs in there and I'm going to pinch the sides and I'm going to turn, pinch and turn. And I'm also pushing on the bottom to make the pot a little bit deeper. Now you don't want to get these edges too thin because they'll, they will break when it dries. Just turning and pinching with my thumbs inside the pot. Now once you have a shape that you're happy with, you are done with your pinch pot. It can dry out in the open air and then you can paint it however you like to paint it. Um, the cool thing about knowing how to do this, if you practice it a little bit, you'll get good at working with this air dry clay. I start almost every sculpture with a sphere and a lot of things um, require this skill, this pinch pot skill. We did um, little houses with rooftops. Um, you can even, if you have a little bit of extra clay, you could sculpt some little fruit to put in it so you can have a little fruit bowl. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so that is your basic pinch pot. If you want to do something interesting like scallop the edge like this, you can. You can be creative with it. And then when you paint it, you can really show some creativity, add some beautiful color. Thanks, until next time, bye, you're a work of art.